Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hino with Misty Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm gonna do five missions as kind of like a two and a half minute, you know, robot game round. But the goal of today is I'm gonna to try to take those points from those five missions and clarify the small inspection area and the precision tokens and then add everything together. So if you wanna see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Hey everybody, Mr. Hino here. Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics uh, YouTube channel just hit 10,000 subscribers, yes. Um, I just wanna thank you guys because without you, that doesn't even happen, obviously. Um, but what's more meaningful to me is just the journey that I've taken and the journey that you guys have been with me. Um, all of you guys that comment, all of you guys that um, just watch and you know, it's the, the community of robotics is just better because of you guys and it's just fun. Um, some people comment and say, man, Mr. you know, you take a lot of time to do these videos. I wouldn't do it if it wasn't fun. And it's also fun to hear back from you guys saying, you know, thanks for the help. Thanks for the tips. Thanks for the advice. Thanks for helping me see things a little better. That's all the reasons why I started this channel. It was just because I remember how it was to start off with robotics and start off with first Lego league. And I felt lost. Not that there weren't people to help me, but it was just, it was nice to know that, you know, if I was ever in the same position where I could help some people, you know, get a better start, then it was, it would be fun and it would be, just one of those things where, you know, you feel like you're doing something positive. So I want to thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers and let's keep it going. Okay. Back to the video. Okay, guys. So here's my plan. I'm going to take my educator bot. I'm going to do five missions, the swing, the elevator, design and build and sustainability. I'm going to put together in one, the crane, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the elevated places or the bridge. And then at the end, hopefully, I'm not gonna have to touch the robot, so I'm gonna get those 60 point precision tokens. And also, I'm gonna add in the small inspection area points. You get five points for every mission that you score points on. If everything that you have can fit into that small inspection area, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like on the board. And then you also get 10 points if it's mission two, the crane. So what I'm gonna do now is take you to the board, go through all those missions, and then add everything up so you can see all the points you're supposed to get as a team. Let's go. So here we go. Three, two, one, Lego. Um, there's going to be times where I'm about to put the camera down to put some of the, the black beams on here. So so we got the swing. Come back to base or home robot. Okay, so let me go ahead and put you guys down. I'm just going to put these black beams to help me do the elevator. There we go. Let me go ahead and pick you back up. All right. So we're now off to mission two, which is going to be now this elevator. Okay, got that flip. Okay, I'm going to put you guys down again because we're going to take this off for the crane, or oh, wait a minute. I'm wondering if I don't need to take it off for the crane. No, I think I remember doing this without. Okay. So we're picking you guys back up. And this was gonna be mission three. And here we go. Okay, 
Okay, that dropped. Hey, it actually came off the thing. Okay, so we're back in base here. I'm going to take this off once again. Getting ready for mission four. And here we go. Okay, we are back in base. And now, hopefully, we can end up on the bridge here with my last mission, mission five. All right, so here we go. Okay, so we weren't fully supported by the bridge, so we're not going to get those points. So let's go ahead now and add everything up. So we got 20 points for the swing. We have 10 points for this matching red. And then if we add up the levels, that's 5, 10, 15, 20. So that's 30 plus the sustainability, that's 40. We're now going to go over the crane. We did lower it, so that's 20. And then we go over here to the elevator. That's pushed over, so that's going to be 15. And we were hoping to get onto that bridge, but not. So now let's go ahead and add everything together um, with the small inspection area and the precision tokens. All right, everybody, so we're ready to add up everything that we did. So if you're confused again about the small inspection area, all of your robot's equipment must fit right in here. So if you take a look at this red mark, everything straight across and down, if it fits into this area, you get five points added to every mission that you score points. And they're, add, they're asking or telling you that you'll get an extra 10 for mission two, the crane. So here's what I did. I did do the swing for 20, and then we add five. Did the elevator, add five. Now you might help me here with some clarification because I put the design and build together. I'm not sure if that's separate or together, but I just assumed it was you know, the same thing. So I added five there. And then for the sustainability, I added the five for that. And then the crane, was worth 20 and then I added the 10 because you get 10 points instead of five. And then the 60 point, because I did not pick up the robot, um, you know, outside of home, then that gives you the extra 60. So here we go, let's add everything up. So what you just saw, so the swing would be 25, the elevator would be 20, the design and build, so let's just do what we originally had, the 10 plus 20, that's 30, plus the other sustainability, that's 40. And then we'll add in the 5 and 5, which is 10. And then the crane, which 20 plus 10 is 30. And then we would get the 60 points, because we didn't interrupt the robot um, during you know, the missions. So we're looking at 185 for what you just saw um, the robot do. Wish we would have had that bridge. Oh, well, I did pretty good for, you know, having to put the camera down. So one mission there, not gonna, not gonna bury us. Okay, guys, so hopefully we, we cleared up everything on the points. 
if I overlook something, if my numbers are off, especially right here, I don't know if I was supposed to give myself two fives for that design and build or just one. But for the sake of, you know, taking less points, I'll give myself less. And if, if I was supposed to have more, then that better yet. Okay, guys, so hopefully I made sense. Hopefully I was clear and made it, you know, understandable on how do you get the precision token points and also the small inspection area points. So again, five points for any mission that you get points for, 10 points if it's mission two, the crane. So anyway, 185 points for just those missions, pretty good, right? So anyway, um, it's also pretty good for an educator bot. So hopefully you guys uh, are making sense of the points and your missions and strategizing what you guys should do um, to get, you know, the best score you guys can. Hopefully you're still having fun with City Shaper. I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I'm out.